people ask me, well, why, why do we even need the three-man militia? What would be the purpose on that? Well, you don't need them at all during good times. But I'll tell you, when bad times happen, what you're going to have is gangs. And they're going to run the streets. They're going to control everything. And it might be just at night. And when it starts, it'll be small gangs. And it'll be just at night. But once, depending on how bad it gets, these gangs are going to be all over. And they're going to be taking control of everything. There'll be home invasions. Uh, they'll be doing the same thing like uh, we talked about before, coming in for your cash, gold, silver, and guns. These are all the things that these gangs will be doing. And this is why you need militias. Militias are going to be the only thing that's going to defend you from gangs. Uh, I was in Venezuela, and it got so bad that they had, uh, they had to go into martial law. Even martial law, the military had control of the streets in the, in the daytime. But at night, the gangs controlled everything. So this is why you need militias. With the militias, you'll be able to defend yourselves. Remember, like I said, the militias are only good for your local area. Uh, it takes care because it's our home. We've got food. We've got shelter. And we can help each other. That's why the three-man militia is so important. The basics of all militias, the very first thing is they should be able to handle a firearm. And it's best a rifle. The rifle is the easiest thing to use. Every household should already have a rifle in there. If nothing, 22 uh, should be the minimum. And uh, you know, just go right on up. It just doesn't make any difference on rifles. And everyone in the household should know how to use the rifle. But when you're setting up your militia, you make sure the basic understanding is each person can handle a firearm, uh, at least a rifle, and they will handle a rifle. They need to go out like, you know, uh, two or three times a year and shoot the rifle to make sure they're familiar with the rifle, and maybe even handguns too. But your basic militia needs to have that understanding of firearms. If nothing else, at least they will look good. You know, so if, if, they, if they need to take action, at least they'll look good and they won't accidentally be hurting themselves. I have the three-man militia set up for a particular reason. And the, uh, we're going to start with the simplicity of it. Um, even the Marines breaks down uh, the, the fighting force into a three-man fire team. So you have three, three men in your fire team. Okay, it takes three fire teams uh, to make a squad. Okay, so you have three men in three fire teams makes, and then three fire teams make a squad. Okay, these three men. In this, in each fire team, makes a squad. Okay, each squad, three squads, will make a platoon. Now, there's going to be one more squad in the platoon, and that'll be weapons. But we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, but like I say, so you have three men in this fire in this fire team. There are three men in the fire team. Three fire teams make a squad. Three squads make a platoon. Three platoons make a company. And it just keeps on going like that. And, uh, and like I say, we're talking about the, the weapons. Weapons is uh, special. Uh, they're sp uh, special weapons platoon and special weapons company. And these people, like I say, are in special weapons. They have particular weapons. Um, well, just going to stay, stay with, uh, stay with the original three. 
they've got basic skills. They're a rifleman, and they can handle a rifle, and they can do the fighting. But these three, they take care of each other. When, we, when the Marines settle in for the night, at least in Vietnam, what they did, when they settled in for the night, will settle in on the top of a hill. See, there's the hill, and we'll settle in on the top of the hill, right there, around the hill, all the way around the top of the hill. We've got it. And in this, where we settle in, right here, there's a hole, and there'll be another hole. We'll dig another hole, and another hole, and this goes all the way around. There's three men in each hole. Okay, so you'll have this hole, and you have three men. One, two, and the third one is watching. And these people will sleep next to the hole while the one guy is awake to alert the other two. So uh, we have uh, the three man is sitting here into three into their holes all the way around, all the way around is where these men are. Okay, your three man militia. The basic is the every three man militia. They need to under, know and understand uh, rifles. They all need to know that. And uh,